welcome to this episode of History Hunters. I'm in downtown Modesto and I'm here to talk about a historic series of photographs that were taken here in the 1930s, taken by Dorothea Lang, a famous Depression era photographer. going to go up H Street here to the corner of 9th and H Street where I'll tell you more. There was a Hubs clothing store here back in the 1930s and today there's a bank here in its place. It was right here on this corner that Dorothea Lang, a photographer with the Farm Security Administration, took several iconic photos right in this direction. In the photograph we see a bunch of men idle standing around with their hands in their pockets and out of work. It's right about here where the men were seen in those photos standing around with nothing to do. This was called Skid Row at one time and over there was Turner's Hardware Store which is in the background of Lang's photos. The photograph was called Men on Skid Row taken around March 1937. She used a Graflex Super D camera. Right over here to the southwest were train tracks where Dorothea Lang walked over to take more photos. So just a word about Dorothea Lang. She was hired by Franklin Roosevelt's Farm Security Administration to take a series of photographs and document the conditions of Americans across the country. Much of what she took was right here in the Central Valley where the poverty was intense at the time in the 1930s Many who fled the Dust Bowl fled out here to find work picking crops in the fields and fruit in the orchards. They weren't especially welcomed. Dorothea Lang was born in New Jersey in 1895. She studied photography at Columbia University. In 1918, she intended to see the world, but a robbery stopped her in San Francisco. She found work there and a husband in Maynard Dixon, the noted Western painter. She photographed the elite of San Francisco, but her calling was in documenting the poorest of the poor during the Great Depression. Her work became influential. This 1933 photo of a lone man facing away from the crowd in front of a San Francisco soup kitchen led to her employment with the Federal Resettlement Administration, later called the Farm Security Administration. The economic hardships faced by Americans were reflected in her work, such as this photo of a stranded mother with her baby outside of Tracy, California. Her greatest work, however, came in February 1936 when she shot this iconic photo of a destitute mother at the edge of a frozen pea field near Napomo, California. The iconic migrant mother remains a classic symbol of the Great Depression. Lang died of cancer in 1965. It's really hard to believe that these are the same sidewalks of Skid Row back in the 1930s when you look at how modern Modesto is today. This is the older block and most of the buildings that were here have been knocked down. Turner Hardware occupied about half of the frontage of that block. The building was raised not long ago and they plan to construct a new county courthouse out there. The state hasn't found the money for it yet. I don't know that too much has changed here in the Central Valley because there's a lot of poverty still. A lot of people are homeless. A lot of it is drug induced. But several years ago, before they tore down this Turner Hardware Store building, I saw homeless people camping out. There was a basement that they had to fill in. Now I'm going to take you across the street to show you another location where Mrs. Lang took an additional photo. Right where those taco trucks are is approximately where Lang shot a photo of vagrants lying on the sidewalk in business suits. Modesto is located about 90 miles east of San Francisco in the Great Central Valley of California. We're often called the bread bowl of the world because we produce a lot of crops, fruit, nuts, and dairy products. We actually feed the world here. Within view of the Modesto Arch, we're talking about another location where Dorothea Lang took some pictures that day, in March of 1937. Right here in this area of men sleeping on the cement, obviously out of work. 
believe that the men were sleeping approximately in this area. And you see those tracks right there. You'll also see the tracks in the photograph kind of showing that uh, the location would have been where the men were sleeping were probably right here. So back in the 1930s, there were a series of agriculture related businesses right here along the track so they could load up their produce right here on the rails, take them to different parts of California. There was a business here called the San Francisco Fruit Company. And because of the label was in the background, a lot of people thought that the photograph was actually taken in San Francisco, which wasn't the case. It was shot here in Modesto. I happen to recognize that the photograph was mislabeled San Francisco because in the background, paid close attention and I could see what was the Modesto Arch. The Modesto Arch is very unique in that there's only one like it here in the valley. Right over there is the Modesto Arch. Taco Bell is blocking it so I can't really line up the picture of today with the picture of 1937. So there's the famous Modesto Arch. Let me tell you about it. It was erected in 1912 to welcome car drivers to Modesto because automobiles were still in their infancy. There's a photograph of a famous race car driver by the name of Barney Oldfield driving underneath the same arch during the 1913 Panama Pacific Road Race. The race was 444 miles from Los Angeles to Sacramento and cars, it said, reached speeds of up to 110 miles an hour, if you can believe it. 9th Street is behind this arch, and when they widened the street, the arch was moved back a couple of feet. It's really an amazing arch, and a lot of people have made fun and says, water, wealth, contentment, health. But that's really true, because this area was a very healthy place for people to live. Here you go, it tells us about the Modesto Arch here. 1912, restored and rededicated in October 2012. It was formed by the Modesto Businessmen's Association. A contest was held to decide on the proposed design for the structure as well as the slogan which graces the arch. Final design was submitted by Modesto architect Bernard Joseph. The slogan chosen was Water Wealth, Contentment Health. As a gateway over US 99 which traversed downtown north to south on 9th Street, High Street, 7th Street to the 7th Street Bridge. So we're going to next take a look at the 7th Street Bridge. It's the only bridge that was in operation when Dorothea Lang was here in 1937. It was basically your Highway 99 bridge. It's well over 100 years old and it's ready to be replaced. famous 7th Street Bridge. It was the Highway 99 bridge back in the 1930s. In fact, it was dedicated in 1916. I'm going to show you this plaque here. It says 1916 Board of Supervisors. Names the supervisors who were responsible for building this bridge. It's one of the few cantilever bridges in the United States. It's very unique. It's destined to be torn down here in the next couple of years because it's been deemed so unsafe that school buses can't even drive on it. These lions have seen their better days. This guy here has lost his upper palate. Looks like his head split open. This was Highway 99. Dorothea Lang would have taken this to and from Modesto. This lion has lost his entire nose. Still looks mean as ever. It's really sad that the pride and joy of this community has turned into kind of a, a derelict area, but that's pretty common in the United States. It's even got a bench here that they put in way back in the day. If you wanted to sit here and enjoy this bridge. Coincidentally, a trailer park near the south end of the bridge was home to Florence Thompson, known as the migrant mother in that famous photo of 1936. I'm not sure if these pillars and the uh, little plaques, they had anything on them. You can see the layers of the concrete, how they poured it way back in the day. Very interesting. This was Highway 99 at one time. Really incredible. I'm going to show you something over here. Something smells dead around here. 
I'm gonna show you how this concrete's falling apart. Look at this. See the steel rivets in this plate right here. Soon to be no more. So with Modesto 7th Street Bridge behind me, I want to thank you so much for joining us on this episode of History Hunters, where we revisit some of the Great Depression history that Modesto has. We always love to have new subscribers. We'd love to have a comment, maybe a thumbs up. Tell your friends. Thanks so much for watching.